Hey guys, this is Mr. A Crazy here, and today I'm gonna be I'm gonna be doing a movie review on this on this Blue Sky Studios movie from 2008, and this movie also turns 10 years old today, which was released on this day in 2008, March 14, 2008, which is now March 14, 2018, and this movie turns 10 years old today, and and that and that would be Horton Hears a Who. Yep, which is the, the 2008 version with Jim Carrey and Steve Carell. Like, Jim Carrey plays Horton, and Steve Carell plays the mayor, of course. Yeah, so... Now, the plot of this movie is where, you know, it, it kind of... It, kinda, it, pretty, it pretty much follows, like, the same story as, as the book, Horton Hears a Who, where, you know, where, where Horton, played by, played by Jim Carrey, like, he... Like he he find, he find, he sees this speck that's that, that's floating and of course and then he he catches it with like with like some sort of flower or clover or whatever you want to call it and then but you know but of course he also got like the kangaroo played by Carol Burnett like you like I know she like she doesn't she doesn't believe him that that, that there's nothing on the speck of course but then but then but then but then but then later but then a second later in the movie we get to see what what's inside the speck like like through that speck it, it was like some sort of like some, some sort of town called Whoville where you know where the mayor where the mayor is is, is from who was voiced by who was played by Steve Corral and of course I, and you and, and of course the mayor has uh, has like lots of siblings like he, he, he has like 90, 90, 96 daughters and one son named Jojo of course and yeah. But then, but then, you know, when, when the mayor hears Horton's voice, of course, like, 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 it's like later in the movie, it's, it's kind of hard to explain. I haven't, I haven't seen this movie in a while, but sorry if I get, sorry if I got anything messed up, but anyway, so I, so it's like, so it's like how, like, see, Horton proves, proves the mayor by, that, 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 that he's living on a speck, of course, by showing like the dark light thingy, like, you know. But yeah, so and then and then he he wants to take take the spec to like to like the the the, the top of Mount Mount Newell, of course. But yeah, that so that's pretty much the basic plot I can talk about. So what do I think of it? I, I think Horton Hears a Who is like a good a good movie from Blue Sky Studios, and yeah, I think it's a good Blue Sky Studios movie from two thousand eight. And yeah, I do remember watching this movie, of course, and. I, I, the animation is good in this movie because it, it's it's like the first in Dr. Seuss movie to be completely animated since the the previous movies that had, that were Dr. Seuss movies were live action. The Grinch, which the Grinch also how, like How the Grinch Stole Christmas, which is also another movie with Jim Carrey, which I thought was pretty good. And there's also another live action Dr. Seuss movie called the The Cat in the Hat with Mike Myers, which I thought was okay, but yeah. And then, and then we got this movie, Horton Hears a Who, which is Jim Carrey's second Dr. Seuss movie after The Grinch, of course. Yeah, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. And yeah. And I thought Jim Carrey was good as Horton in this movie. I, I like Jim Carrey as Horton in this movie. And Steve Carell was, was good as the mayor, of course. Like, you know, and, yep. And, I, and, and all the other cast members did a, did a good job in this movie as well. I thought Carol Burnett did a good job as the kangaroo. And, um... Yeah, we also Amy Poehler's also in this movie. Amy Poehler, like she plays like 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 the mayor's wife, of course. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I thought Amy Poehler was good in this movie, and yeah, and pretty much every cast, every other cast member did a good job in the in this movie. So yeah. Yeah, because you know it is a Blue Sky Studios movie, and pretty much almost every Blue Sky Studios movie is good, ex except for the for their sequels, because yeah, the Ice Age sequels. The Ice Age sequels are like not as good as the original Ice Age movie, but the, but the meltdown was actually good. But yeah, but overall, I, I think I think Horton Hears a Who is a, is a, is a great Doctor Seuss movie. I think it's a good movie, and and probably this is probably the best Doctor Seuss movie ever made. Yeah. Yeah. So and also and like I said, this movie turns 10, 10 years old today. So happy tenth anniversary to Horton Hears a Who. And I'm going to give it 5 out of 5 stars. It's a good Dr. Seuss movie. If you've not seen it yet, what are you waiting for? Go check this movie out. And pretty much that that's all there is to say. So, happy 10th anniversary, Horton Hears a Who. Yep. Alright guys, so that, that that's it for my movie review on Horton Hears a Who. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're not subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And make sure to like this video. Thanks for watching, and goodbye, everybody, and that's about it.